Hey, what's going on YouTube? This Southern Knights coming back at y'all with another video. And I want to talk about the best websites to buy ammo from right now. And you know how I feel about some of these online ammo sites. But at the same time, as you can see, the atmosphere is picking up in the country. And I notice at Academy, you notice when some of these events taking place, like the shootings and all of the rioting and protests, it's a uptick of people going out and buying ammo. Like the last order, truck order at, at Academy that came in, the guy told me that, look, the people came there and they came early. We never saw it like that since the beginning of the ammo shortage. And they came in like it was like a, you know, pretty much <laughs> like it was going to be, you know, crap hit the fan scenario. Or it was a situation to where they knew something right then was going on politically. So the dude at Academy, the first thing he did was basically, you know, looked at his phone and checked was anything going on at the time. And he didn't really see nothing. Then come to find out later on, it was another incident in Minneapolis involving a, you know, black dude or whatnot in a, you know, shooting scenario. So it's a similar case, not to mention the Joel Floyd situation is going on up there in Minnesota right now. So now since the riot and protests have started, and I know I, I ain't want to start the video like that, but. It's a reason why I'm starting it like this. But when the riot and protest started, it was an uptick of people going in and buying the ammo. So this is why we're telling y'all these events is brewing right now. And these are the events that I was seeing before they started. I, I was seeing it because when, you know, for some strange reason, when one incident happened, they start happening in threes. But before everything hit the fan, I'm going to point out some websites that y'all might need to check out. And it's similar to the, the video that I did probably like, what, two months back. And one of the sites that I want to introduce y'all to, and y'all might know this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the price might be still a little elevated. But for the most part, I try to help people out to find a reasonable price. So the first one, well, of course, I'm going to say go to ammoseekammo.com or ammo seek is one of them you know seekammo.com any way you put it in there it's going to pop up so that was the number one recommend recommendation for my last video for y'all to go check out for ammo but the second one is gunbroker.com like i was looking at this site you know it might be a site that you might have to you know, look into to find out what you got, you know, or what they have on the website. But from my understanding, they was a good website. Also, I was looking into it. But the main website that I want people to check out is what um, Target Sports USA. Now, they website has some reasonable prices. Matter of fact, when I get stop, when I get done with this video, I'm going to look into more of that. But, of course, you might have to sign up for the website, but they have some really good prices. Like I said, you're not going to find the normal prices. But if you want to go in to a situation where you need a quick ammo and you automatically put your bid in, I say that's a good website to check out because they have, you know, I've seen like bucks for like what? Buckshot shells for like. Two ninety nine, some three hundred, depending on the grain or depending on you know what type of shot it is, you know whether it's the four shot, the eight shot, or whatnot. But they have some all right prices. You know, I'm not saying that they the best prices, but if you are the type of person like going online and buying ammo, that's a great source to buy ammo. You know. So, like I said, I always try to, you know, do my research before I get on here and try to, 
you know, because I don't want to tell nobody the wrong information. And they come back and be like, oh, man, that website's some crap, man. <laughs> you know, no, nah, I don't want to do that. So that's why when I look into something, I like to look into it and come back and give y'all my opinion. You know, even though you might have a different opinion, it might be too high for you. It might be too, you know, might be just right. might be the perfect place for you. But everybody got their own standards of how they want to spend their money. And that's something that's out of my control. But I'm just giving you the best price as far as get away in, get away from the price gouging, you know, you know, avoiding the price gougers pretty much. So this is the reason why I'm giving y'all these websites to look into, you know, so later on when this stuff start hitting the fan out here, which is about to happen very shortly, you can pretty much go ahead, type in your information, go ahead and have your credit card, your account set up with them. So if you want to go run and get this ammo, you better go ahead and do it. Have your information already set up in there. So when the time come, whenever you need to, you know, get the ammo, cause I'm going to tell you the way Academy was right, right then, it looked like we about to go to square run. We about to go back to square one with this whole ammo shortage. I'm just going to just keeping it real with y'all. You know, the, these events, the protests, and it's happening back to back. And it, it kind of made me wonder, is these situations, it's orchestrated. But like I said, I'm not about to go into that. I'm talking strictly ammo and the online sites and the atmosphere that it's going to create as far as you getting your ammo. And it might start affecting the guns too. You might, it might be a point to where you can't find certain ammo out here. Well, not ammo, certain firearms. So you might have to take that in consideration also. So yeah, it, it's getting crazy out here, y'all. You know, like I said, <laughs> when I went, when, when I went to Academy and this would remind you, I got off work 11 o'clock AM, you know, after going to work, you know, waking up four o'clock in the morning, getting off at 11. I'm thinking that, all right, it's 11 o'clock, so it can't be too bad. I'm coming in Academy, and they saying there ain't no more ammo. I was like, what, the truck ain't came in or something? Uh, what, what, what's going on? But they were like, nah, the truck came in, but we just had a long line wrapped around the building almost. And I'm like, where? Why? why? I thought, you know, everything was cool. You had, you did have the limitations. So I was like, oh, y'all must lift the lim limitations then. They, they were like, nope, they just came. And the reason why they came is probably because, like I said, you know, they got TVs. Everybody got a television. So if they seeing rioting and protesting and, you know, that's going to spark in different cities short, very shortly, you know, it start in one city, it's going to start in another city. And it's going to hit their city. It's going to hit their communities. And the first thing, the first reaction, oh, I, we got to go get some ammo. So it's kind of like this situation that's going on politically and the ammo shortage and all of the, <laughs> your, and your accessories too. That's another thing. All of this stuff is attached. And I told y'all in previous videos that this situation is going to affect the ammo shortage. I, I told people this, you know, I made it very clear in my videos. Look, while everything cheap, don't worry about saving your money no more. This, this ain't the time to really save money because everything is moving like the stock market right now. One day is high, one day is low. One day the, you know, the food costs, you know, <laughs> a, a, a pack of hamburger probably costs $20 for a pack of hamburger and it might go back down to, you know, $8. It all depends on the situation right now. So by you saving money, I'm not encouraging you not to save money or put something away. It's different between saving money and putting something away. That's two different things. But as for you trying to save money, that money is going to change in your pocket overnight. Or that alleged money that appeared to be money is going to change in your pocket overnight. It's not going to have the same value. You see what I'm saying? So basically, take that money and convert it into something tangible 
and convert it to energy into something tangible that's gonna have the same value when you had a matter of fact <laughs> you know let, let's say for example this boat action right here is not probably not going to have the same value that it had probably like you know what a few weeks ago because if this situation get a lot worse out here and all of this stuff that's really going on if it get any worse the firearms is going to go up so that boat action you know that winchester right there is probably going to go for probably like what i give it a price i'll say probably like six hundred dollars you remember the ar-15s you can get a you can get an ar-15 for like four hundred dollars but now they going for like a you know almost 800 and up you know 600 if you lucky if you lucky you might could get one for 600 but yeah so before y'all start going to academy and i know especially y'all living in the cities you might want to check the situation because if there's any protesters during the day in your city nine times to ten is going to turn into riots so basically what you're going to probably have to do is, like I said the last time before it happened, go out there early and get your stuff, <laughs> you know, because like I said, another shortage, an ammo shortage 2.0 is, is around the corner. You know, remember me telling y'all this, you know, so when it happened, you can go back and fall back on this video because like I said in my other videos, you notice I said it and it started happening, you know. So, yeah, but those are the well sites that I mainly wanted to check y'all out. And I'm going to review the well sites one more time. You know, that's gunbroker.com, you know, Target Sports USA, and of course, SeekingAnimal.com. That's like the top three well sites that I can refer y'all into going shopping for your ammo, you know, at this particular time. Now, I can't guarantee that everything won't change on these websites. It might change. It might stay the same. But I'm saying as now, so you watch this video, go check these websites out, you know. So, I'm going to make this video, you know, I'm probably going to end it right here. But those, these are the websites that I was basically checking out. So, like I said, these events is about to take place. The writing is on the wall. You got the trial still going on in Minnesota. Then you had another police shooting 10, what, 10 miles or 10 blocks from where the trial is taking place. And last and last night they had the protesting. Then they started rioting and looting up there in the same, you know, proximity of the trial. So, yeah. And you know, however that situation turned out, it might be a double whammy, so let's create another scenario. If the cop walks, no charges, and that situation, on top of that situation, guess what's going to happen? It's going to be another situation, and that situation is going to go from city to city, and it's going to cause all of the two-way community to go out and get this ammo you know, prematurely, some people, you know how some people like to wait the last minute, you know, and that's what I mean by prematurely. They're going to go out here and find out that it ain't nothing out here and they're going to be going, wasting gas, going town to town, city to city. And this is why these limitations is really out here. Then now I know the price gouges, they send them back waiting just like this. They sit them back. <laughs> they they waiting. They they in the cut waiting. The price gouges are waiting. I'm telling you, you know. And they're gonna go to places that don't have the limitation. They're gonna buy all the ammo. They're gonna go to them well sites. And a box of nine millimeter is gonna be a hundred and five dollars plus tax. So that's how that's gonna turn out. <laughs> so yeah. So, 
they I'm telling you, they waiting. Everybody is ready to take advantage of this. And now it's a situation. The Black Lives Matter leader, the leader of Black Lives Matter bought a million dollar home in a so-called gated community, you know, away from the black community. So everybody is reporting on this video. And I don't know whether I want to do a video on that. I'm still kind of having mixed feelings about that because it's like, you know, you, you have people that pretty much warn the populace about these types of situations prior to all of this. And due to the fact that we warned them and everybody still either proceed as business as usual or they turn around and you know give you that resistance and it takes for a situation like this to everybody have this fake outrage about oh she bought a million dollar home and oh well of course <laughs> of course of course you're gonna buy a million dollar home you know black lives matter gross like what nine million not 90 million in 2020 so what do you think she's gonna do you know get an apartment i'm just saying you know <laughs> you know never mind where that money going at so like i said i don't you know i'm still trying to i don't know if i'm gonna do that well i know everybody you know making a hot topic but like i said everything that you needed to know about these people i pretty much explained it in the video and some people got it and I know my subscribers got it because they won't still be here if I didn't pretty much gave them that reality prior to all of this stuff that's going on right now with the gun law legislations and all of this other stuff that's going on. And But I probably will do a video on Tennessee. You know, they, you know, had a law to where you know, they no longer have to have a permit to carry concealed now. So that's a good thing, you know. See, and that's what I was telling you about what was going on in my last video. How many people that work for government that's going, that's going to continue to go along with the laws of the Biden administration before they start turning another lane? You see what I'm saying? And I told you the sheriffs is already doing it. The governor's already doing it. Now, you 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 have lawmakers that's, you know what? I'm going to have to give y'all some names. I'm going to sit down and make a list, and I'm going to go pretty much slice this down. I'm going to have to slice this down, you know? So I'm, I'm going to say that for another video, too, because I'm pretty much going to slice. I'm going to give y'all the names to show y'all that everybody is not rocking with what's going on in the federal government right now. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to have to give y'all some states, some governors, some sheriffs. I'm going to have to pretty much break everything down in one video. So I'm going to save that for another one because I want to go more deeper in the rabbit hole on that one. But with that said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off and I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. You know, feel free to donate if you choose to. So with that said, peace.